Hey everybody. So in this video, I will share with you a cool tool that lets you create applications on the go for free with Llama 3.1405 billion parameter model. So it's called Llama Coda by Together AI. So Together AI makes it easy to run or fine tune your open source models with only a few lines of code. So similar to Cloud Activate. So Llama Coda uses open source Llama models and is itself open source. So you can even host it locally if you want. So the best part is that the hosted version is free to use without any limit. Okay, so to get started, let's head over to Llama Coda page. And here is the page. So it's llamacoda.together.ai. So you can generate application by simply sending a prompt. So currently, a few limitations is it only supports the next.js. That is the only limitation. So we are going to look at some example and let's see. So here, let's type something like, so let's say create a user interface for my website with the name data edge all right so here you see there we have llama 3.1405 billion so we have the 70 billion parameter model and we have gemma 2.27 billion model Okay, so you can choose any of them. So we are only focused on the 3.1405 billion parameter to create applications. All right, so let's run it and see. It's very easy to use. All right, and you can see the response streams in real time. And once it's done, you will get a preview and the code, the preview of the application and the code. All right, here you see it has created the app. With, so here is you can just see the preview of the application and the code. So you can unlock the power of data with Edit Edge. So here you have features get started. All right, so you can see it has some features here. All right, so let's let's add something to that. Like let's say add pricing plan. Plan features. All right, so let's see. Let's see if it's going to up, up, update the app. Let's give it some time. Awesome. So you can see it has updated the app with um, the Python, and you see you can choose plan. So this is so awesome. All right, so in here is we have, so this process is an um, iterative process. So it allows you to find the app as needed. So you can go there and say, correct this for me or correct an error for me. All right. So let's look at some example here as well. So it has an open sandbox that you can open up and check your code. So right here, you can see the sandbox open here with your code. So you can make different changes to the app. So this is pretty awesome. All right, so let's look at some example. Let's look at another example. So I'm going to say create a to do list up. And let's see how this works. All right, let's see. It's updating the app. So here is the code. Awesome. So you can clearly see here is the app. And I'm going to say add rise. I'm going to say add to do, and there you go. So you can delete. There you have it. All right, all right. So um, this this might work for some applications, and it might not work for other applications. So if it has some complex, you know, you have to you want to build a complex application. So it depends basically on the type of application that you are looking at. All right. Okay, so now we are going to look at how you can run this locally. All right, so let's look at how you can run this locally. So you can see right here, we have the 
GitHub repo. So when you click on this, yeah, you have your GitHub code. So you here, we are going to use the VS code to run this locally. So let's go to my VS code and I have already cloned it. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. All right, so when we, let's get to here. So here are some instructions that you can easily do it. So here, so I'm going to start by creating my environment. All right, so if you want to create an environment like this, you can do Python dash MV, MV, EMV. So when you hit enter, I have done that. So I want to activate the app. So I will do EMV slash script slash activate. I will activate it. All right, so when you see this green MV here, it means that it's activated. And now I'm going to do clone. So we go to the instructions and you have this git clone. So you can copy this or you can go here and you can clone it. You can just copy this. All right, so I'm going to paste it here. So when you have it here, git clone, when you hit enter, it's going to show up here for you, right? All right, now when I have that done, I'm going to do cd to llama llama coder so we have cd to llama coder and i am in my llama coder here all right so i'm in my llama coder so i have access to these files so the next thing we want to do now is so we need to create an m file and get to and get to, our, to get our API key. So if you want to get your API key, it's really simple. You set up an account. You go create an account here by going to get started, and you sign up to through your Google or your GitHub account or your LinkedIn account. All right. So I've already done that. It's really easy. All right. So when you once you have that, you get your API key, and you come here, you create your dot env, you don't your dot env file and you paste it here. Already already pasted that. All right, so the next step is let's go back. So the next step is to install the M MPN. All right, so before we do that, if you want to run that, you need to have your Node.js installed. So you can go use this link to download it, All right? So let's go back and what I want to do is npn install. So when we run this, let's install that. So next thing is let's run run mpn dev Let's run it right so you can see the local host is local host 300 and so i'm going to click on this just to run it all right, it's getting ready, so let's run it. All right, so this is awesome. So we have it running locally, and you can go ahead and build your apps really easy. All right, so let me do the same thing here. Create a to-do list app, and let's see how this comes out. So it's running locally on your machine, and it's free. Awesome. All right, guys. So this is what I wanted to show this you this exciting tool that lets you create applications in a, just a second, right? By using the 
Lama 3.1405 billion parameter model, really easy. All right, so with this tool, you can prototype your code, you can prototype your, your project and build your apps. And so, okay, so let me know in the comment section how you feel about this tool. I hope you like this video. Do not forget to like and share, subscribe. See you in the next one.